Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And in this video, I wanted to show you a really easy card making idea. And this is especially good if you are just getting started in card making or if you are interested in trying it out, all right? And so I'm using this stamp set, Incredible Like You. It's a photopolymer set, and photopolymer stamps are clear so you can see through them when you're stamping. And this is in the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog for 2019. And then to go with that, I have my Whisper White note cards and envelopes. It, these come in a pack of 20, and the card bases, base, which is the backbone of the card, is already in there, cut and scored for you. And a score line is an indentation made without cutting so that you can fold the card easily and give it a good crease. Now I'm using what's called a bone folder to give it a good crease, but if you don't have one of those until you can order one, just use your finger, okay? Just, uh, it's ready to go now, and we're going to be using some designer paper, which is what we call our pattern paper, and I want to cut a piece to go on the front of the card. Now this, card front top to bottom here measures five inches i want to leave a little bit of a border so i'm going to cut it at four and three quarter inches long this way is three and a half i'm going to double check that yes three and a half i want to make that a quarter inch smaller so i'm cutting that at three and one quarter so let's use this butterfly piece and it comes in a 12 by 12 piece, but I've already made some cards, so it's cut down smaller. But I'm going to cut that at three and a quarter inches wide. Okay, and then my card front, remember, was five inches. So I want it a quarter inch smaller. There's five, so I'm gonna come down a quarter inch to four and three quarters and cut. And I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece so that I can make another card later at four and three quarter. It's already the right width at three and a quarter. And that leaves me with this little piece here that is the right width at three and a quarter. And let's see how wide it is. Two and a half. So I want to cut that in half, okay? So I'm gonna cut it at one and a quarter. And on our Stampin' Trimmer here, one and a quarter, it's easy to cut that small uh, cut there by lining it up over here on the end. That's the one and a quarter inch mark, okay? And I'm just going to cut that in half. So when you flip over the designer paper, there is a coordinating print. And in this case, it's even, it's coordinating, but it's contrasting. It has two of the colors, and we're going to use that as an accent strip on the front of the card. So let's go ahead and put that much together. And I'm gonna use some snail adhesive, and you could use a liquid glue as well. Okay, but this is just an uh, inline adhesive, so I'm just going to roll it along the border of this designer series paper piece. And then we're gonna take our note card front and just center that top to bottom, side to side, where I have a little bit of a border, white border showing all the way around. Now I'm going to take this strip, which remember it was just part of an leftover piece, and I'm going to put it across the center, well, not exactly the center, I'm coming down just a little bit, and use some adhesive again. And put that just all the way across, all right? So now I want it to say something and look pretty, okay? So I'm going to get a strip of cardstock here and this is called Whisper White. It's a smooth white cardstock from Stampin' Up. It's great for stamping. 
and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on it. And the sentiment says, I hope your day is as amazing as you, which can be sent for any day or even a birthday. I have some Memento Black ink, and I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And I can see the words that I've inked up. And so I'm just going to center that over top here, top to bottom and side to side, just really eyeballing it. And there we have a beautiful sentiment. Now I wanted to add a little bit more color to that. You could go ahead and glue that and that would be a beautiful card to send to someone. But let's add a little flower. And for that, I'm just going to need two more colors of ink. So I've chosen two colors that are in the designer series paper and in, with Stampin' Up when you order a pack of designer series paper either the 12 by 12 or the 6 by 6 stacks you if you flip it over on the back it has the colors the coordinating Stampin' Up colors that are within the colors of the paper and so the green I chose was lemon lime twist and then I chose Calypso Coral as another color for the flower. So I am going to use this stamp right here for the flower and this little leaf stamp for the leaves. Very simple, very simple stamping. All right, so here's Calypso Coral. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to ink that up. And since our sentiment is in black and it's bold, I'm going to be able to stamp full strength over this. And you're still going to be able to read the sentiment. So I'm centering it, just eyeballing it. And you see that beautiful bloom there? Now let's take our lemon lime twist ink. And ink up once. And I'm just going to come along the bottom here. And you can see it overlapped to the blossom a little bit, and that's okay. And then again here. So now I have added a little color and a little accent to that sentiment. Now we're ready to apply it to the front of our card, and we're doing it over that contrasting piece of designer paper. Just like that. And there you have an easy and beautiful card that just anyone can do. And so if you are interested in trying card making, I'm going to show you all these others I've made today, all with the same idea. I hope you will give this a try. If I can help you with anything, please contact me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and there will be a link there where you can uh, email me or contact me and I'll be glad to help you. Okay, have a great day and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.